here's a, a sleep gastrectomy patient with obesity. The only thing I wanted to really show you uh, in this particular uh, instance was the uh, fact that this patient is late in the course of her sleep gastrectomy. She started off at, uh, uh, at a higher weight, but uh, she, she dropped later uh, a little bit of fat mass, uh, and she actually gained lean mass. So she dropped fat mass and gained lean mass because of an exercise program. So here's a patient who was exercising significantly after her surgery and was actually able to increase her lean body mass, which is quite unusual. Most patients will lose both lean and fat. But here you can see it is possible to lose fat mass and maintain lean mass if you work very hard at it. What oftentimes uh, happens is, well, like in this patient, is a 49-year-old woman with diabetes who had bariatric surgery. Pre-surgery weight was 198 pounds. Her weight now is 137 pounds. This is out. She's already at 137 pounds, but this is already out a couple of years from her surgery. And what you see here is, is that she has dropped some fat mass, but she's dropped a lot more lean mass. So this patient's continuing to lose weight, but she's not exercising. She's not eating very well. And so although she continues to lose weight, and you'd think that she's doing just fine, most of her weight loss is related to loss of muscle mass rather than fat mass. So this is a patient you need to get after and make sure that they're doing some muscle strengthening activity so that they can maintain their lean compartment. Because one of the big problems in these patients with bariatric surgery is you see these dramatic successes of loss of weight, but where's it coming from? And oftentimes it is a combination of fat loss and muscle loss and unfortunately, in patients uh, like this, they may at some point lose a lot more muscle than fat. All right, so here's compartmental trending on a patient showing the ups and downs of patients who wind up going on and off various interventions. And you can see that the patients lose fat, they gain some fat, they lose again, and muscle mass does that as well. So in bariatric surgery, there's a loss of lean mass and fat mass after surgery. This is a study showing only 9% of patients maintained or gained lean mass after bypass surgery. So monitoring a body composition may be very important in order to ensure that patients can maintain their body composition properly. And you want to maintain lean mass and you want to selectively lose fat mass.